developing strong passwords. Stay safe online. You can't argue the importance of having a strong password. Passwords are used to keep you safe. Now, you can simply ask your students to develop their own passwords and assume that they know what they're doing. But what I suggest is that you take about five to 10 minutes and teach your students how to develop strong passwords. So here are a couple strategies you can share with your students. Strategy number one. Have a memorable password, something like the name of your hometown or the breed of the dog you own or your favorite superhero. It just has to be something memorable to the creator. Number two, don't share your password. Passwords are meant to be kept private. Warn students to especially not share their passwords with their best friends or their ex-boyfriends, girlfriends, because if they do share their passwords, it would be with one of them. And middle school, high school relationships can go sour very quickly. Teenagers can be exceptionally cruel when best friends turn to enemies. They wouldn't think twice about logging into somebody else's account using the other person's password. Third, insert special characters, capitals, and numbers into the password. When you insert those choices, you're adding an extra protection. Maybe change the letter A to an at symbol. You can also add your favorite sports player's number. Also capitalize some letters here and there. One suggestion is to advise students to capitalize letters that appear in their middle name or something like that. And lastly, don't have a password that's easily guessed. Avoid last names and first names. And having passwords that are literally the word password is just too common. So don't let that happen. Now I want to say thank you for your time and please watch the next video in the series. Keeping private and personal information offline.